Thank you, Leslie. Well, after a violent week in the city of Flint today, some residents took to the streets to make their voices heard. NBC 25's Drew Moore spoke to one man who lost his son to what he calls senseless violence. Now he's sharing his story to try and help stop these tragic deaths. Drew. Stephanie, after the recent string of violence in Flint, Ken Dickerson is doing his part trying to make sure other parents don't have to go through bearing their own children like he went through. To fix the problem, he says, everyone is going to have to do their part to make it stop. More than a dozen people have been shot in Flint since last weekend, two of which have died. Ken Dickerson lost his son, Ken Jr., in 2008 to what he calls senseless violence. He got shot in the chest and he didn't survive. Today, Dickerson held a gathering to remember loved ones lost to gun violence in Flint. That's not right. That's, that's all. We, it's almost like we live in, in a third world country. Dickerson, along with community activist Kenyatta Dotson, hopes these messages of hope, unity, and love will help the community come together to stop the violence. We have to do our part as citizens. She says people also need to work with police to get dangerous criminals off the street instead of being silent. But it's another thing when you refuse to share information about someone who has taken the life of a child, of a person. It's a cycle of violence that Dickerson says needs to be changed. You, you lose your life to homicide, ain't no coming back from that. Go to prison for life, ain't no coming back from that. He also says he knows a good place to start. And I believe the city of Flint has lost the love. We need to get the love back. Dickerson is also planning to hold a community-wide prayer vigil at a local high school in the next few weeks, but no firm date has been set yet. Stephanie, back to you.